circulate. Let the dollar circulate. Let the dollar circulate. Uh, thank you very much for checking out another video here on Everyday Ish Every Other Day. Um, wasn't the very next day, but I uh, wanted to make a, a video on, I would say, my reaction, obviously, to the Steelers' loss. But I would say the biggest takeaway and disappointment from the Steelers' loss uh, this last weekend against the Bengals. Um, Blitzberg, uh, Steel Curtain, uh, the defense just fell off. It's like it's like it almost it's good, I guess, in a sense. It goes to show how much uh, T.J. Watt's presence makes a difference. Um, they said that he I mean, that's his first two missed regular season games. Like he doesn't miss games. You mean the best um, ability is availability, and he's been available to the Steelers. All throughout his um, you mean rookie rookie uh, starts, as well as you mean I guess into his contract year, um, groin injury. I mean, what can you do? It wasn't any major. I'm happy that it was just a groin injury. But without T.J. Watt's presence on the on the edge, as well as Highsmith on the on the uh, on the opposite side, no sacks, no quarterback hits. Joe Burrow left with a clean jersey. Like, are you serious? That was the biggest disappointing. The fact that there was 76 consecutive regular season games with a sack until this last weekend, like, records were broken in all kinds of, in, in on different areas, like, Bengals beat Steelers first time more than 10 points and since, like, 19-something. Like, what? So that was disappointing, but like I said, the fact that the defense, the, the next man up mantra wasn't necessarily there. Yes, they did play the game of football this weekend, but they didn't get any they didn't get any quarterback hits. They didn't they didn't get a quarterback sack. Uh yeah, they got a takeaway, but I don't think they capitalized on the takeaway. As much as you mean the Bengals did on Ben Roethlisberger's two interceptions, so that was a big disappointment from the Steelers' loss. Not only was it again in the kitchen, the heat of the kitchen, the AFC North divisional game loss, but the Bengals. So again, that was disappointing. But the fact that there was no sacks. That was my takeaway. That I was like the end of the game when I knew it was like the fourth quarter when it was like looking ugly. I was like, all right, well, it's 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 not looking good. I was just like waiting for a sack. Like at least at least we'll get that, but didn't even get that out of the game. So I started back up, back to one. Start a game, hopefully with the consecutive sacks. Like I, that was like something that I remember like laughing about. Like other teams were like, "Oh, they didn't get a sack. They haven't had a sack for two, three games." I'm like, "Man, we get a sack, if not multiple sacks, every game." That was like something that was like, you know what I mean? Like, really? But the fact that we didn't come away with a sack against the Bengals, we didn't get a quarterback hit. Man. All right, so I'm I'm done with that. On to the next week. Next, which unfortunately is on to Green Bay, which you already see how they handle the business at the end of the game. Aaron Rodgers doing what he does, so we'll see how that game goes. Maybe it's a different, maybe we'll get, um, yeah. I would say if, if uh, TJ Watt is still on the sideline, if Highsmith is still on the sideline, uh, it's not going to be good defense-wise. Offense-wise, if they don't take a look at that tape and see what they lacked of, in the sense they didn't move the ball, couldn't move the ball, had to throw the ball to Najee, your first-round running back, more than the receivers, Juju Smith got a, receipt, uh, got a, a rushing touchdown, and our first-round pick, Najee Harris, got a receiving touchdown. Um... So, yeah, things are kind of ass backwards. Um, so, if they get that situation, you know what I mean, offense hopefully in line, they can't come with mistakes. They can't come incorrect against Green Bay. Uh, 
especially in um, well, uh, so yeah, that's not going to be pretty if they don't get something together. Uh, that's what this week is for. Is what they it's what they go do practice. So hopefully, as I'm making this video, they're practicing that exact thing, moving the ball down the field. They're all talking about like Mason Rudolph. Worst case scenario, taking Ben out of the game if he's not able to put things together. My take on that would be I would much rather see, and I put my money on Haskins. He was at one point in time a first round pick, had perspective, had something going for him. I think put in the wrong situation with the Washington football team. And so I would much rather go with Haskins. I would put my money on Haskins to be able to finish, if not start above Rudolph but I noticed on the sideline you see Rudolph you see um Haskins just in like in his sweats and some a t a hoodie he ain't playing he ain't even you know I mean so yeah I would move him up way before uh let Rudolph start because we saw what happened with that last season so I think I think I think with with uh Haskins um behind the center Along with Najee Harris, defenses are gonna have more of a threat because Mace uh, Haskins isn't like mobile. He's not like a, a Lamar or Jackson, but he's able to pick up like a first down on third and seven. You know what I mean fourth and one. You know what I mean at the same time thinking Najee's gonna get it. You know a jet sweep, but uh, oh yeah, Dwayne Haskins way more than uh, I would say Mason Rudolph. Um, because, again, I've seen Mason Rudolph. Again, from what I've seen Dwayne Haskins in the preseason, there was some ups, there was some downs. But I'd rather see him in a regular season, like like knowing that all eyes are on me, let's go, uh, more than Rudolph. But, again, that's just my opinion. Um, again, tell me what you think in the comments, uh, what you feel uh, needs to happen, if anything needs to happen at all. People are like, it's a third, third game. Week four, season's over. Like, man, there's long season ahead. Again, remind individuals Steelers have, if not the most, the second most, like, I guess, toughest schedule com from from what last season's you know, teams are with over 500 uh, rating. So take that in consideration. Again, AFC North is, like, better than other divisions. So there's better comp better opponents in each of our multiple games we play the Browns and Ravens several times so uh, all that in consideration season's not over uh, we got a lot of time yeah let the dollar circulate